Hi, I'm Rachel. Today we're going to be going over how to do probabilities. When we're addressing a probability problem, we usually like to start with something as basic as flipping a coin. When you flip a coin, you have a 50% chance that it will land on heads and a 50% chance that it will land on tails. There's two probabilities. We can either write that as 50-50 or one half. A half chance of heads, a half chance of, ha of tails. And every time you flip the coin, it's the same probability. Half chance that you're going to get heads and half chance that you're going to get tails. What if you want to know the probability that you're going to flip a coin and it's going to get heads, say, five times in a row? Well, you start with the first time you flip the coin is one half. The next time you flip the coin, it's still going to be a half chance that you'll get heads again. And you multiply that five times, one, two, three, four, five, because it's five times each time, and you end up with one over 32. And that is the probability that you will get heads five times in a row. But each time you have to go back and say, okay, it's still 50%. The probability is still the same each time, but you're multiplying it together because um, each time it's that, and you want to get it five times in a row. So that's an example um, of a probability problem. We often like to do things with dice as well, which is where it's like one out of six. For example, the probability that I'll get, that I'll roll a two on the di dice is one out of six. Then you could ask a problem like, what is the probability of rolling an even number? Well, that's going to be two, four, and six on the dice, which are three numbers. So that would be three out of six, which would be one half. Right? So that's just another type of problem. And you can often do it with a pack of cards, something like that. There's a plethora of different probability problems that we can offer. I'm Rachel, and thank you for learning with me today.